Assalamualaikum and welcome to another episode of Zilfit TV. Today, uh, I'm just going to show you some some of the things that uh, just came into the showroom. Um, not all of them are Eliko, so I'm excited to unpack everything and show you what we have. It's a Saturday morning and we just received delivery of um, a few used items from a customer of ours. So there's a lot of unpacking to do today. We've got, check it out, how many, are, how many of those? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Seven of those are Eleco barbells. I think I'm going to do the assault air bike first. I used to have uh, one air bike long, long time ago, back in 2016. And then. Oh, it's Shh, I'm going to record. As I was saying, I used to have an air bike back in 2016 but I sold them out, uh, I sold it off uh, at that time I was just operating from my house but um, ever since we moved here I felt that I need some cardio machines not just strength equipment so I bought a used one to be honest I actually hate this bike uh, because every time I was on it last time, it was just so painful. Even doing a simple uh, Tabata. And it's like, uh, I hope the condition of this bike is so good. I was assured by the seller that it is. The air bike looks good. The display is working, so Alhamdulillah. Um, just so you know, the air bike also came with a cockroach. <laughs> so that was a welcome surprise. Next up are the three plyo boxes. These are Aleco three-in-one plyo box. And um, I don't usually sell them because it is pricey if you compare to other types of similar plyo boxes but according to the customer that I bought this from he says they are really really good don't take my word don't take my word for it you know uh, you see it for yourself I have two of these um, in the showroom but they are rarely used uh, just because we don't get a lot of uh, uh, crossfit at our functional fitness uh, members here so it's been sitting at the back for for the longest time you know some people just can't afford a Leco and um, it's, it's always nice to have as many equipment equipments as I can in the showroom the condition is as good as it can be considering that uh, this was used in a CrossFit box. Uh, I do not know how frequently it was used, but looking at the condition, it's almost similar to mine. Yep. The wood is solid though. I used to have um, those that you can get from... Um, companies that OEM apply all this um, functional fitness equipment if I recall correctly um, this surface feels a bit different I'm not too sure whether it's the same kind of wood but uh, unless I can compare it side by side then I will be able to tell you the difference but one thing cool about this ply box is you have this handle um, the OEM one that I had didn't have this handle so this makes it easier for you to 
carry these things around. Okay, next up is the, uh, we have two XF80 flat bench and another one is the um, classic flat bench. So the classic flat bench is uh, what we're going to keep, but the two XF80 flat bench is what we're going to sell off. All right. First up is the XF80 um, bench. Look at all the mess. Okay. By the way, this is the first time that I'm going to see the uh, classic flat, uh, flat bench. I have the XF80 flat bench in the showroom and uh, I have the classic adjustable bench but I do not have the classic flat bench. So that will be a welcome addition to the gym. Wow, this looks like brand new. I must have, I might have sold it too cheaply to a customer. Yeah, look at that. Oh, wow. Okay, check it out. That's the condition of the bench. I'm not too sure whether you can see it clearly, but this is a really, really good condition for a used bench. There's no cracking of the leather at, at all. And the only parts that I can see that has somewhere and tear are these uh, bolts. But that's it. Okay, let's check out the, uh, the classic uh, uh, flat bench. You know, with the addition of um, this equipment and some other things that we bought, uh, we are running out of space. I'm thinking if business is good, sales is good, then um, we're probably going to have to move to a bigger place, inshallah. Um, but let's hope that happens so that we can bring in more stocks for you guys, especially in Malaysia, so that you don't have to wait a few months for to get your, your equipment. In any case, um, this is this bench is probably older than the, the previous one. There's some signs of rust. Uh, wheels are okay, so that's fine. Um, personally, I'm not too particular about um, if the equipment is not in perfect condition. No, it is after all used. It was used in a CrossFit box and uh, as long as the padding is not torn or cracked or anything like that, some rust I think is expected. Uh, I just hope it doesn't um, spread across the, the bench, which I don't think so. What I notice is that there is a difference in, I think the leather is different not the inside of the bench, the inside of the pad, the padding itself. Yeah. Sorry for my broken English. I learned English, English, I learned English from uh, American TV shows like MacGyver, Airwolf, Knight Rider, you know, Thundercats. Transformers, those days. So that's where I learned my English from. This is the classic, Aleco classic flat bench. If you can see, the texture of the leather is different. It has double stitching. Everything else looks pretty good. So the rust that I noticed it's only underneath the wheels. Okay, Alhamdulillah. Um, Alam is here to help me with the unpacking of all the equipment. And now he is unpacking the Roke Y2 yoke. This 
thing is heavy. I wonder how people can carry the whole thing. There you go, finally. What is this? Is this supposed to be uh, normal? I don't know. Rope. Can you explain? Is this supposed to be jagged like this and not smooth? The pins for the Y2. That is the J cup. So we are trying to assemble the uh, Y2 without any installation manual. Look at them. So that is how you um, clip it on. Is that clip? My English is so terrible. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Yeah, there you go. Rope Y2 yoke. Oh my God, look at the height. Okay. Maybe that's too high for Malaysian. Rogue. Yeah, Rogue Eleko. Okay, let's just open up this one by one. Starting with the short axle bar from rope. Uh, rope. As you all know that uh, we have one rope bar here that we bought, which is the um, deadlift bar. Um, it's a good bar. Um, a lot of people like using it. It has a lot of whip and the knurling is very, very aggressive. Um, as we all know, when I buy something from Rogue, um, it's because the uh, because Eleko doesn't sell them. And if I look at this short axle bar, the powder coat has come off. But I'm not gonna fret about it. I suppose that is normal. Right, rope? That's normal, right? There you see the blue sticker, rope sticker. Just to identify that this bar is actually a rope bar. I've never used uh, an axle bar before. I would like the strong man in my community to actually get me acquainted with this, the technique of lifting it and whatnot. But apparently, um, this short bar is being used in CrossFit as well. I've opened up two Eleko barbells, sorry, three. Two XF female bar and one performance weightlifting bar. So one of the XF bars, the female XF bar, condition is very good, considering that it was manufactured in uh, 2016. However, the uh, performance weightlifting bar, the, um, the shaft is still pretty good, but the, we need some cleaning up. So we're gonna clean it up before we sell it to the customers. Cantik lagi kot. It's still beautiful. <laughs> One thing that uh, I'm surprised is that the, the chrome uh, is holding up pretty nicely. As you, as you can see, I mean, a little bit of um, cleaning 
using the uh, Eleco Clean, right? And we use this brush, which is a bristle steel brush. Now we move on to the very last bar, which is the rope axle um, powder coated bar, which is a long one. I actually have been eyeing for a few rope strongman items before the uh, MCO, before the pandemic. And, uh, but I had to shelf my, um, my dream of getting them because of it, because of it. And then suddenly, my customer decides to sell all his equipment and lo and behold, all the things that I wanted from rope, he has them, he has them. So now, Alhamdulillah, it's mine. There you have it, all the used bar helico barbells and the two rope axle bar. In general, if you can see, the condition of the bar is very good. I mean, I can go closer, but I don't think the camera can focus. Let's try it this way. Okay, that's as close as I can get. Some of these bars are four years old. Some of them are about a couple of years old. While I was um, unwrapping the barbells, uh, Alam actually helped me with unwrapping the uh, Concept2 rover. This is Model D. Everything looks good. Normal wear and tear, which I don't mind. Looks a bit dry. So we're just going to get the uh, lubricant and then just oil it back. So now, Alhamdulillah, we have three cardio machines, Curve Runner by Snowfit. We have the Assault Airbike and we also have the Concept2 Model D rover. Okay, last but not least, we're going to unwrap the uh, sport training disc. There are 16 discs, uh, four, four units each for 25, 20, 15, and 10. We've just unwrapped the sport training discs. The condition is good. However, there's like a white coloration on the discs. So I'm not too sure what that is. But otherwise, the discs are in absolutely good condition. All right, that's it for this week's episode. Um, I'm really happy with all the used equipment that we bought. Uh, I think the condition is really, really good. Uh, apart from uh, one or two, which uh, basically we have to clean up before we give it to the customer. Alhamdulillah. So I can't wait to use the uh, rogue equipment, especially the yoke and also the axle bar. Um, I can't wait for you guys to, uh, to try it out. Maybe because of this, I might just open up the showroom for walk-ins again. What do you think? Right? So in any case, I hope you like this video. And uh, remember, we, we are still, uh, we are still the, a fanboy of Elico, of course. Uh, no offense to Rogue, uh, they make good equipments as well, but uh, you can't be Eleko, right? Uh, in any case, I hope you like this video, and if you have any uh, comments or questions, please leave them down in the comment section. Uh, if you'd like to uh, get in touch with me, my email is in the description. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. I really appreciate it. And don't forget to turn on the notification button. And uh, what else? Oh, if you are in town, please drop by uh, to our showroom in Space U8, Bukit Jelutong Shah Alam. Um, you can try out the, our collection of Eleko equipment and some Rogue uh, equipment as well. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I hope to see you, to see you guys here soon, inshallah. 
Till then, we'll uh, we'll see you again in the next episode. Insha'Allah. Ciao.